In Excel, absolute reference is referencing a single cell all of the time. As an example, here is a worksheet with sales amounts in column A and commissions in column B and the commission rate in cell D2. To calculate the commission amount, I left click on cell B2, then type in an equal sign. Next, I'll left click on cell A2 and then type in a multiplication sign, Shift 8 on the keyboard. From here, I'll left click on the commission rate, cell D2. And to finish, I hit the Enter key, and we have our answer of $758.63. Next, to make things easy, I'm going to left click on cell B2, then go down to the bottom right hand corner of cell B2, and the cursor will turn black. I'll left click and hold, and drag the fill handle down to the bottom of the chart, then release the click and hold. As you see, the other commissions are zero. This is because in our original formula in cell B2, we created a relative cell reference. If I double click on say cell B4, you can see that it is referencing cell A4, which is what we want, but it's also referencing cell D4, which is not what we want. We want to reference cell D2 all of the time, which is an absolute reference. To clean things up, I'm going to delete B3 through B7. To create an absolute reference, we use dollar signs. I'm going to left double click on cell B2. Now in the formula, I'm going to left click before the D and type in a dollar sign, shift 4 on the keyboard. Then I'm going to go over in front of the 2 and type in another dollar sign. Next, I hit the enter key and now we're set. Again, I'll use the fill handle to pull down to the bottom of the chart, then release, and we have our commission amounts filled in. Now if I left double click on cell B4, you can see it's referencing cell D2. And that is the basics on absolute cell referencing. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.